Hey folks, I'm Rachel Grant. I'm a PhD candidate and a part-time assistant professor here at the University of Ottawa in the Faculty of Education. I'm originally from Langley, British Columbia, but I've been living in Ontario for about 10 years. I lived in Toronto for a few years and then I lived in downtown Ottawa for several years before moving to a small town just outside of Ottawa where I live with my partner, uh, a roommate, and our little dog, Foxy. I did all of my schooling and my bachelor's degree in British Columbia. Growing up, my family did a combination of public school and homeschooling. And I have another video where I talk a little bit more about my family's decision to homeschool, but basically it was because my brother has a learning disability and the school was not accommodating. And I switched to homeschooling as well when I was in grade 12. At this time, I was teaching swimming lessons and I was working on my Royal Conservatory of Music grade 8 piano, so I was pretty busy and didn't have a whole lot of time for six hours of school a day. And my high school also wasn't letting me take my prereqs to get into nursing school, so I ultimately decided to homeschool myself. And fortunately, my parents were supportive and had the ability to allow me to do that. And my undergraduate is in nursing. I earned a Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Trinity Western University in Langley, BC. And after my bachelor's, I attended Ryerson University where I did a master's of nursing and leadership in education and health policy. And like many of you, I had opted for a course-based master's program. Uh, but in my case, I also got to do a practicum placement at the end of my program. And this was really because at the time I had zero interest in research and I had no interest in doing a thesis. Uh, but then I ended up taking a course on interprofessional education and I absolutely loved the course. Uh, like many of my former students have described, what I found most exciting was that Suddenly I knew all these different words for the different concepts I was seeing in my practice. There was whole theories about things I was interested in. And so I left this course with just a lot of questions that I wanted to investigate further. So I ended up doing my final practicum placement in interprofessional education research, even though I hadn't gone into my master's degree wanting to do research at all. And I discovered that I really love research, which was pretty unexpected. So I often joke that my first job as an RA should have stood for researcher accidentally as opposed to uh, research associate because this wasn't something that was expected at all for me. And hence the name of my YouTube channel and a lot of my social media accounts. And so here I am now. And in between uh, my master's degree and my PhD, I did work as a research associate, first at the University of Toronto and then the University of Ottawa. And I got to work on a number of really cool projects. Um, I was part of one study where we were clarifying um, educational terminology that we use in health professions education. And I also did a couple of studies in surgery, one where we were looking at surgical communities of practice and another one where we did an ethnography of the surgical safety checklist in orthopedic surgery. And that brings us to now where I am working on my PhD. I'm in the health professions education stream and I'm looking at how rural primary care providers, namely family physicians and nurse practitioners, learn from electronic consultations with specialists. And as an educator, I have experienced teaching both in person and online. Uh, during my nursing degree, I actually had the opportunity to do one of my practicum placements as a school nurse in an elementary school. So despite not having a background as a teacher, I do have experience teaching in elementary schools. I was mostly a lot of hand washing and sex ed. And I've been teaching in the university setting since 2008. Uh, when I first started working as a teaching assistant in nursing skills lab, oh, there goes my light. Sorry, my light just died, so the lighting might be a little bit different now. Anyways, uh, as I was trying to say before I was rudely interrupted by technology, uh, I have experienced teaching both in person and online, and I've been teaching in university settings since around 2008, when I first started working as a teaching assistant in nursing skills labs. And during my studies, I've TA'd in a variety of different courses. I have done nursing skills labs, of course. I've done nursing communication, community health, inclusive education, learning theories, student assessment. And I've also done some teaching in the Bachelor of Education program here at U Ottawa. I've also facilitated graduate level workshops on research at the University of Toronto and at University of Ottawa. And I've also led some research workshops as well um, in the workplace. In the graduate program here at U Ottawa, I have taught a few online courses. I have taught um, EDU 5202, which is Teaching Strategies in Health Professions. And I have taught EDU 5101, which is Perspectives in Education. And as I was going through the course roster for this class, I can see that I have a few of you from those classes in our course this semester, so that's exciting. But I do more than just academic stuff. I, I do have hobbies outside of school. I am a musician, as I alluded to earlier, my main instrument being piano. I do also play some guitar, but not nearly as good as I play the piano. And prior to the pandemic, I also sang in a choir. I'm quite artsy. I enjoy painting and crocheting. Uh, during the pandemic, I've taken up sewing again. So I have sewed a lot of face masks and I'd also done headbands and cosmetics bags and I just got into quilting, which is a lot of fun. 
during the pandemic, I've been watching more TV than I probably should be. And right now I am really into uh, Magnificent Century, which is a Turkish soap opera. But enough about me, I want to hear about you. So your activity this first week is going to be introducing yourself to the class. And I'll post more information about this in class introductions um, on our Brightspace folder for week one. So I'm looking forward to getting to know you all this semester. And as always, I will see you all online. Bye.